Hi, I'm Susan Moody here at the Quantum Center of Excellence, and today we have um, Fernando Crespo O'Neill, and we are talking about accessories. And what do you have in front of us today? Well, people have always asked me, what's my favorite accessory? And I always tell them it's a face veil. Mm -hmm. uh, people have used it for pain relief and have had great success. However, if you're working on a shoulder or on a knee, mm -hmm. you kind of have to tape that face veil in place. Mm -hmm. So the Quantum Center came out with uh, the wraparound pad. So what's special about this is it actually has the straps already attached. So Little that, Velcro here? Yep, so that you can wrap it around the trouble spot, whether uh, it's, on, it's on a leg or an arm, a shoulder. Uh, this is actually the small special size, which is great for wrists and for ankles. Uh, the standard size we have would be great for shoulders and for knees. Okay, so, tell, me, tell me about the construction here. So this side has got the, the fleece material. Uh, it's a nice color. It looks really professional when you're working on clients. Uh, the other side is the, the silver lining, uh, which we found has two great benefits. The frequencies travel corner to corner, end to end, super easy. And with the silver lining, it's also naturally disinfecting. Okay. So, well, that brings me to the next question is, okay, so you're telling me, you know, that people can use this on wrists, knees, elbows, uh, but once that happens, how do you clean it? How do you clean this between sessions? It's a good question. I get asked that all the time. Uh, at the Quantum Center, our number one cleaner of choice is the transeptic solution. Uh, it's a, an easy to use, uh, non-hazardous uh, solution. It's made right here in the United States. Uh, it's really easy to just spray on and wipe away. Mm -hmm. and, and it's actually a medical grade product. So it's really nice. And uh, some people have also chosen to throw it in the wash machine. You can do that as long as it's on gentle and cool. And if you're going to use a detergent, it would be safe to use something like Woolite. Uh, that would be safe to use with this material. Okay. Can you show us how to, how to attach that to someone? Sure. So we'll just use your wrist here. Okay. Let's say that you suffer from carpal tunnel and that you would, so you would just wrap it around like that. You sit in front of your computer all day playing Angry Birds. <laughs> Your wrists are killing you. Uh, we sell this uh, individually. I don't, by the way. <laughs> we sell this individually uh, without the cable because some people have got multiple uh, accessories from us. Okay. So why make them buy a cable each and every time? So when you look at our website, we have two cables to choose from, the MC8 or the MC15. Uh, one is an 8-foot cable and one is a 15-foot cable. If you're in the metric, it equals uh, two and a half meters or four and a half meters, uh, respectively. Okay. Uh, with our new connector, it's a magnet, and it connects on pretty easy. And on the back of your device, you have a choice. If you have an indigo, you have red, yellow, or blue. They're all the same. They're all output only, and so you can plug it into either one of those. Uh, if you have a Skio that's from uh, 2007 to newer, you could plug it into red, yellow, or blue as well. Uh, if your Skio is from early early 2007 to older we recommend this just using your red port uh, if you have an eternal you only have a red port and if you have a qxci you only got your red port but that's where you'd plug it in and you would run a session if you wanted to work on, on pain relief now is there any time where you would not want to use this wrap on someone uh, that's a good question uh, because of that silver material being 99 percent silver You'd want to make sure before you use on any of your clients to ask them if they have a silver allergy. Uh, so I've never actually met anybody with a silver allergy, but it's a big world and it's the potential is someday you're going to meet that person and you always want to ask your clients up front. Okay, so now you've, you've attached this, although I do notice, you know, because of my jacket, it's on some cloth. Is that a problem? Uh, great question. People ask that all the time. Should it be right on the skin or is it okay if it's over clothing? Uh, for the best effectiveness, you want it right on the skin. Okay. Uh, but if your client isn't in a position to take off uh, clothes in that area where you're going to be working on, then uh, if, if the material is a natural material like cotton, we found that the frequencies don't pass through that very well. You want the material to be synthetic. And uh, we found that the frequencies will actually travel uh, better through uh, synthetic materials. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Now, what can this do to a uh, practitioner's business? What, what would they do with this and how would they market or present it to their clients? 
Uh, we found many practitioners have great success working on people to for pain relief. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you want to find a way to market yourself, maybe to athletes, uh, to help them with their pain. Uh, it's amazing how many athletes live with pain every single day. Uh, and so if you can help them deal with that, potentially even eliminate it or, 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 or diminish it, then that would be a great way to market yourself as a practitioner. Now, do you have any stories specifically about benefits people have had using this product this accessory well this one was created because so many people were having success with using the face fail and taping it to to joints and and shoulders and and uh we have one practitioner that works on olympic athletes and uh, uh they loved having the face fail they would come in and grab the face fail off her little peg that it was had been drying from the client before and they would come in and sit down and and stick it wherever they had the pain and sometimes even putting it in their pants uh and so they wanted something gentle and and effective for working with the pain so that's why we created this it's the same uh material except it just has the straps on it to make it easier for the client the practitioner to be quicker when the when their client sits in the chair to get this hooked up to where they want it to yeah, be. Yeah, I could see this easily going around a knee, a swollen ankle, yeah. tennis elbow. I, I awesome. agree. And even though it's a smaller size, it, it's uh, it's great because depending on the person you're working on, you might be working on, on more of a petite person or a smaller frame person where that would actually work fine on, on their knee and their elbow because they're, they're petite. A uh, bigger guy like me, you might want to go with the standard size. Uh, so how many sizes does this come in? There's just the two. There's the the size that's the standard size is 10 inch by 12 inch which equals like 25 by 30 one? centimeters no that's the small one which is about uh eight by ten okay and so that one works really good and one thing that people ask me all the time is when do they hook connect the accessory to the device uh, we went over where to plug it in but you don't want to plug in any accessory until after you run test good anything else i should ask about this product nope that would be it great thanks for sharing with us hey it's my pleasure